Hello, hi everyone. This is Sami here from Agronomy Solutions. Welcome to one more vlog. Yesterday it was October 18th. We received a massive and unpredictable rain, <coughs> where uh, people can see the scenes of the rains in my Instagram page. People who have not uh, <coughs> who are not following my Instagram page, please log in and uh, see the scenes of <coughs> yesterday's rain. So just now we finished the measurement. It's 3.5 inches of rain that is 3.45 to 3. Uh, Hello, hi everyone. Magnum is solution. Uh, welcome to one more rain we have received. So now this blog is specially on <coughs> the effects of the rain. Uh, specially in scene to our Robusta, I'll be covering it so you can uh, you can just <coughs> see uh, what are the effects what we have gone through due to this rain. Sharif. ये इधर ये तीन से बड़ा समझ गया इसको भी तीन से ये कर लाओ समझ गया तीन से इधर आना see see here you can see the buds which were ready like this you can just see here it zoomed up by the clean and zoomed on the either second zoom model. See, these buds were ready. Actually, so Robusta is a computerized program plant where you can see here, even you can see the buds here. You can just see here the buds which is ready. So, all this, uh, as I've told you, Robusta is a computerized program plant. In the month of October, <coughs> September, October, and November, which are very critical for Robusta because it will prepare by itself for the next year's crop, not this year's crop, that is uh, 2027. <coughs> so, <coughs> so, this is being affected. You can see the buds here, which were ready, have already moved out now. You can see the flower here. You can just see the flower here. So, as it is a computerized program plant, you can just see here. Even you can see here, it's a clear image here. So, entire structure here, everything is ready for 2027 crop, which is been affected. You can see the flower here, the flowering signs here. So, which the buds were ready and immediately due to this range, it's it's been blossomed and it's it's flower the flower has been opened so this will affect a lot here also you can see here how the buds movement has started you can just check here so this is how it will affect your crop of 202027 so, these are all the signs like immediately like yesterday when we were working at our office, like uh, when we were working at our uh, 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 estate, it was 6.30, till 6.30 we were, uh, the weather was uh, ha hot, it was it was uh, sober and all that. 6.45 we see the different uh, uh, <clears throat> weather and immediately it started pouring. So, we have, got, we have received 3.5 inches of rain. Uh, when we have received 3.5 inches of rain, which is which was not uh, expected and totally unpredictable, so these are the effects, these are the damages, and it is a stress for the plant. So what we usually do is, <coughs> I take uh, September, October, and as well as November very serious uh, towards Robusta because all the bud formation starts. So our nutrition management is very important in this three months. For the next year's crop. So these are the effects what I wanted to show you people. Here also you can just see. In this plant you can just see <coughs> how the coffee has been uh, ripened. Uh, the fruits, cherries are looking red. So lot of unpredictable changes in the estates where uh, these are the signs of all global warming. So 
we should be very uh, accurate with uh, things what we are doing and we should be alert uh, in lot of our practices what we are doing so these are the things which i wanted to show you come let's go again in this plant you can just see here the buds have been moved forward and tomorrow it will flower it will blossom so these are the effects what you what you are seeing here otherwise it becomes a false a uh, false chigrut uh, vegetative growth i mean vegetative growth will come the buds will uh, will uh, slow down otherwise uh, there will be again uh, the flower flowers a blossom types where uh, it, the buds will open as a flowers so these are the effects which which is actually a stress for the plant it's it's giving it's it's being a burden to the plant because plant should have a lot of energy in it uh, before blossom so these are the effects uh, it will either it will turn into a <coughs> false foliage or it will turn into uh, the all the next next year's buds will turn into a flower a blossom so these are the few things and the energy of the plant will get drained out classical example is here see in the month of uh, september october and november all these birds buds will be uh, programmed in the plant with i mean it it will start programming by itself in the plant when the rains like this hits so all these buds will be uh, i mean will 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 be forwarded i mean uh, it will it will forward by itself so that uh, the next year crop will be affected you can just see here also see all this were inside the moment we are we are getting continuously rains so all the moment i mean there is a forward movement in it so it will affect the plant health the crop the entire cycle will change it is very disturbing very very uh, uh, you can just check here because all this almost uh, from 7 8 years i was i was very keen uh, in my uh, very keen and very uh, uh, selective and very sensitive towards my nutrition management towards my manure pat patterns towards my spray molecules so when when we see this uh, we get disturbed even even here you can just check here see here so all this were a productive woods uh, where we were expecting a big crop in the year 2027 so all this are uh, the cycle life should move on we should face it we should learn from the failures we can't challenge the nature so these are the few things which i wanted to uh, give you a glimpse of it when in this plant i go uh, <coughs> in our estate plant by plant i mark uh, as as there is a saying in a football team um, player by player they mark the opposite teams mark so even even i have the same strategy i have number of counts number of plants which is doing good which is not doing good which is actually suitable for drought which is not actually suitable i mean which is not suitable for drought which are the, which are the average yielding plants all counts we have so when i go through each and every plant i see all this disturbing scenes after yesterday's rain so even you can just see here the foliage will start you can just see here unwanted foliage it will start and the buds will convert into a flower there will be a blossom so lot of changes lot of changes all this is a signs of global warming <laughs> this un unpredictable uh, rain uh, <coughs> is a sign of global warming which has affected uh, the buds converted into uh, has triggered the this rains have triggered the robusta buds into a blossom so this will affect the life cycle of the crop uh, life cycle of the plant as well as the crops it will affect the crops uh, of 2027
so here see you can just witness it you can just witness is how how close were the uh, buds but like uh, it's already flowered like i don't know i mean like we were, how, how to we, we have to keep a three, uh, i mean very close watch about this what will happen in the future coming days so these are the effects these are the signs of global warming where we have to again uh, listen to the nature we can't challenge nature uh, you can just see how 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 uh, how it has triggered uh, where all the robusta buds have been converted into blossom now uh, which will affect the plants which will affect the crop uh, crop cycle of 2027 so these are the few things which i wanted to share uh, please do not forget to like our video share uh, i mean share as much as uh, you can uh, about this video so that like uh, and even so that we can le we can learn from each other and please do not forget to subscribe our channel people who have not followed our instagram channel please uh, i mean uh, just follow it and please do not forget to comment if you are facing the same kind of problem so that it will be a, a, a mutual understanding and mutual uh, respect towards each other to understand things and uh, we'll come to one platform uh, to know what all the problems we are facing in the plantations thank you